Hey guys, welcome back to another video with Tony's Phone Collection. <sighs> I'm tired, I'm probably going to cut that part out. Hey guys, welcome back to another video with Tony's Phone Collection. Today, we are going to look at the phones that are remaining for the drop test we still have to do. Um, we have a Samsung Gusto. Um, it is, I think, either, we'll test it out, I think either the flex cable is broken or the uh, LCD is broken. I don't remember exactly, but we'll test it to be sure. We have this Motorola that we already dropped test. I think it's the uh, V325. I need to check because I just kind of guessed on the title. Oh, V23. V323. So I'm going to have to go back and edit the title. Um, this phone, I don't know. I swear it worked at one time. After we did the drop test, I was playing around with it. And I got the screen to come back on. But they wouldn't do anything after that, so well, let me see if I can find the other one and grab the battery. I need to get a bigger desk. I mean, this desk is already big, but it's just not big enough. Um, these drawers are all filled. If I can find the damn Motorola that I need the battery out of, that would be nice. This is not going to be that easy, right? We might have to edit some of this out, so we'll see how that goes. I can't find the damn battery. Let me check down here. Oh my god, it's right there in front of my face. Jesus. Alright, so here's the battery from a good one. We're going to see if it turns on or not. Well, yeah, it's still having the same problem. It's off and on. It's like the uh, the flex cable is just kind of damaged in there. So, well, anyways, I guess this phone will go into either a the total smash bin or we'll do a giveaway with the other ones. There's a box up there that's sitting there. Y'all can't see it, but. Um, as soon as I get all the drop test videos done, I'm going to release that video, so there's that one. It's going to put the battery back in this one. Uh, let's see, we got this LG. It is a VX5200, and it has a bad charging port. Um, it is completely mangled in there. I've tried plugging the charger into it. Uh, it does not do anything. It also shows some sign of water damage. That blue uh, corrosion in there it's water damaged so and the uh, stickers a little bit kind of damp so drop test pile um, I think it does work but it just doesn't have a charging port and I can get another one of these for like five ten bucks so not a really big deal we'll go through and test this one this Samsung U5500 has a passcode on it and it's in really rough shape. You can see the button's been worn through. It's really nasty. See the finish is flaking off. Already got like one or two of these and then I'm also have another one that um no it's just I have like one or two of these so I thought I had I might have two of those. Here is a Samsung U540 it is locked as well, which I already have one, but kind of sucks it's locked. Kind of like these phones, they're kind of cool. So, drop test. Here is a Samsung U430. Um, this one is locked. I also have another one right here. That is good. That's going to be on the giveaway pile. We also have a Sanyo SCP-3200. This one is beat to hell. It does not work. The charging port is bad. Um, there's something else wrong with it. I've harvested a lot of parts off of this phone individually. I even don't even have the screws in there anymore, I don't think. I got those two in, but look how nasty those screws are. Um, these two I don't have in there. 
I've taken the board out of this. I've taken the, the keypad off of this before. The other little rubber um, top thing I've taken off. And this one's just completely trash. So, drop test file. We have a A930. It does turn on fine. Passcode. So, drop test file. I said we're going to do that one. Here is an iPhone 3GS. Actually, I grabbed the wrong one. Whoops, that would have been bad. Arter did that once. That's the right one. It doesn't have a SIM card tray in it. Oh, man. I just got these all mixed up. So, I did a video of the drop test on the Samsung... There's a SIM card. Uh, a Samsung Convoy. Like this. All right. Uh, and you see there's the back from the drop test. I actually dropped the wrong phone. I had both of these sitting next to each other and I just grabbed one quickly and I drop tested the wrong phone. So, stupid me. I live and I learn, right? So anyways, this is the drop test phone, the iPhone 3G. As you can see, the housing's already cracked. The board is bad. Um, it has water damage. The power key is very hard to press. The volume keys work. The mute switch works. Um, but the housing's broken. Uh, water damaged. It's just not worth fixing. These phones are like, you can probably get, I bought that other one for 16 bucks and it was a 3GS. So, you know, drop test pile. We'll get another one. And then also, I did a video on these not too long ago. I don't remember which one is which now. This one is probably going to be the unlocked one because I remember the hinge felt really uh, kind of shitty on the good one. Yep, see how I knew it. This was the unlocked one. So, um, me being a dumbass. Oh yeah, someone called me and interrupted the damn video, but I already took my medicine, so I'm kind of tired during this video as it already is. So, me being a dumbass, I was playing around with this phone, and I haven't changed the passcode yet. If you don't know, on most old dummy phones, the passcode is the last four digits of the phone number. You can go into your settings, go to phone info, and you can find out what the passcode is. Basically, by knowing those four numbers, you can get in there and change it to your passcode. I was messing around with it and I seen this lock button. I was like, well, what does it do, right? So I sat there and I held it down and it said the phone was locked and I didn't get to change the passcode yet. So I want to enter the passcode that I know. And yeah, I apparently didn't get this one switched. All my other phones, I've already swapped over to my passcode. So they all use the same code that I have that I can do it to. So, this phone is completely trashed because of me. And I was going to take the board out and put the board from this one with the, the terrible hinge. Because, I mean, this hinge is trash compared to this one. But, the board is a two stack layer. It's really weird. You have a bottom board. Let's say it's the board that has the keypad side on it that faces towards the inside so that part goes like this and then underneath or behind that you have a another board that just stacks on top it's kind of like it's kind of down here in this area because your battery it's kind of like the cellular board and stuff like that but the board on the bottom contains the or the board that you type on basically the keypad board contains the memory and the flex cable give me a second the flex cable is soldered to the board and I cannot get this hinge apart without breaking it to get that off and then swap everything else out so basically I screwed myself because this was the better one and I was being a dumbass and do not press the lock button and hold this key unless you know what it does. I'll show you on this one because I know the passcode. I hope. Um, 
I'll show you what it does. And I didn't know what it did. I thought it would just like lock the keypad so you couldn't push the buttons or something like that. Like, you know, if you were to do that on an old Nokia phone where you could lock it and you have to push this button and then press OK to unlock or something. That's originally what I thought it was going to do, but no, it completely locks all the phones. So we'll press the pound key. That's what it said. And the phone is locked. And now it is in the same state as this one. Except for... I know the passcode for this one because I changed it. So, if you have an LG phone, do not press that, uh, that lock key and hold it unless you know your passcode. Otherwise, you're going to lock your phone and it's going to be locked forever, basically. Um, so, this phone is just going to be one of our drop test phones because it's completely pointless. So, these are the phones I still have to drop test. Now, let me uh, go and put a battery in this and see what it does. Let me pause the video and find one. And it's all my fault. But I found a battery out of a A640 that fits it. Um, I don't know. I haven't tried to turn it on, but it looks like it fits. So we'll see what it does. Yeah, it works. Battery's not supported. Oh, looks like this one's locked. That's part of the problem. All right, guess all zeros and then one, two, three, four, and then four, three, two, one backwards. If that doesn't work, you're never going to guess it because I'm not going to sit here and, and guess it all day. So, um, draw test phone, she's locked. Like I said, the rest of these are basically either locked or bad charging ports or just not worth repairing. Or you're a dumbass and you lock it yourself. Not worth repairing. So that's why I drop test the phones. Otherwise, if they were good, um, trust me, I just throw them in my drawer. I don't get rid of my good phones. That's for sure. So um, the bad ones, you know, just gotta let them go. Gotta make room for some good ones. So we'll break these and give them away because I don't really know what to do with them after I break them. So there's the drop test phones. I'm gonna slide those over there. I'm also gonna show you the bin of destruction, I call it. Um, these phones I've got an eBay lots that were already broken, and that's how I got them. So I just throw them in this big box that's beat the shit as it is. Let me hide my address real quick. There we go. So this box is either parts I've taken off phones and either got in a eBay lot that is completely just gone. So, first one is a Razer V3 AT&T, water damaged, it's got a broken hinge, uh, broken flex cable, broken screen, front and back, or front and the internal, and the camera lens isn't cracked though, but there's the first one, things crash. Another Razer V3, uh, as you can tell, um, half the phone doesn't even exist. Water damaged. So, broken LCD, broken screens, trash. This is a Casio C781. I think there's two or three of these in there. Um, this one uh, has a broken hinge. I actually want to buy one of these and just drop test it because these phones look really durable. And considering that, that a hinge is still snapped like that. The phone still turns on, but the LCD is broken, but it still turns on. And this is actually glass. So I want to see what that would do on a, a face down drop like that. That would be kind of cool. So I'm going to have to buy one of these and kind of rough shape, just drop test it. And they're like five bucks, ten bucks. I can probably get one. Here's another one that's missing the uh, display, which is probably right here. Here's another one with bad LCD. This one's taped on, so I'm assuming, oh, yep, it's broken right there. Uh, so I'm assuming the glass is probably broken as well. Here is a... This one isn't. It's the uh, LCD that's cracked inside. Or maybe the digitizer. This may be a touchscreen. Um, whatever this thing is. The W845. I was about to say 485. The uh, 845. Uh, this thing is beat to shit. Big old chunk of scratches. 
all over the screen from use. So, oh, we could probably do a drop test on this one still. We might still do that. I mean, obviously, the screen's not be good, but we might still do a drop test. We'll throw that in the drop test pile. We'll see. <clears throat> Here is a Motorola W315 with a bad LCD. Uh, I don't know if it's the inside or the front. Oh, it's both of them. You see there, right there. Uh, and this one's got some redness. So, yeah. Bell LCDs are gone. Hinge is completely destroyed. So, trash film. I guess we could. No, that's not really worth drop testing. It's pretty rough, anyways. Yeah, we're not going to drop test it. This one we're going to drop test, actually. This is a Samsung A640. This one has a bad LCD. This actually, I took parts off of this phone to fix my other one. Um, it had a really good keyboard on it, so I took the keyboard off of it and put on my other one. And see, I took the uh, back cover and put it on mine too, because this one had a bunch of blue and stuff on it. So we'll probably drop test this one because this one is drop testable. Still got that gooey stuff on the inside. Here is another Samsung Convoy with a completely tweaked LCD frame. Cracked. Uh, yeah, LCD's broken. Doesn't shut right. So, and the camera lens is cracked, it looks like. Yep, camera lens is cracked. So that phone isn't worth drop testing. Here's a Samsung X506. I already have one of these. This one... Um, a lot of these I buy on eBay lots just to get a couple phones out of them. And then I'm stuck with all these other ones that I don't need. So that's where a lot of these come from. This one... As you can tell, broken front, inside, LCD, snapped chassis right there throughout the whole thing. Water damaged. Uh, this is a V80. This is the LCD I took out. This actually LCD was good, but the, uh, the actual casing right here snapped. I took the LCD out of this one and put it in my V... Oh, is that black one? It's the 180, I think it is. <clears throat> so that's where the LCD. So this actually had a good LCD, but I took it out and put it in the other one. So that phone's not even worth drop testing. Um, piece off of a Samsung My Shot, a HT or a HTC, a ZTE something. Here's a Gusto again. This one's completely demolished too. Uh, this is part of the uh, My Shot. Here's a Motorola 3 or E815. <clears throat> the LCD isn't cracked, but the uh, this cover just falls off. Um, this phone is just kind of a turd. Um, I ended up replacing it with the Altel one. This is one I actually owned and we had in the collection, but it was really bad shape and I just kind of like halved it together. And then I just said, forget it. We're just going to get the Alltel version of it. Here's a uh, Sanyo Katana. This one I actually broke. I grabbed a pair of cutters and tried cutting it. I didn't really think it was metal. And uh, yeah, it's kind of like a plastic. I thought it was really metal, but it's plastic. Um, this black piece in here is actually metal, though. This black inner trim, this is actually metal. Here's another 781. Bad LCD, broken at the top. The poor Motorola i60. I actually like these phones. These are really kind of cool. Uh, my mom had one of these. And she's got a cracked lens. This, this back was actually one of mine. And uh, I ended up ordering another one, just putting on this one because I felt so sad for it. Here is a Samsung T139. I broke this one. Um. I kept putting a battery in it, it kept turning on and off, turning on and off, it wouldn't boot up, and then I finally just said, you know what, we're going to break it, so that was my fault. Here's the Motorola V262, if I remember right, um, unknown, because I couldn't test it, and my friend broke it, because I let him. Here is a AudioVox CDM 8910VM, Virgin Mobile. 
This looks identical right now to the Sprint and Verizon version. It's just the front cover is different. That one and that one's broken. Uh, here's a i730. Already have one of these. So broke that one. This one I got this way. Um, the hinge is broken right there. And I think I'm going to take the battery off of this actually. I usually try to keep batteries because you know. It looks like it might be good. So we'll keep the battery out of that one. Here is another PM225. This was actually um, the LCD out of mine. I replaced the LCD and this was my parts phone. I used it's in really rough shape compared to mine. So I just took the parts off of it and put them on. <clears throat> Here is a uh, ZTE. I don't know what this thing is, but it's I have one like it. And this one is just um, completely demolished when I got it. So... I know there's damage there. I do mark these actually because when I go to sell them, I usually just sell them on eBay as like a complete lot. Um, before I was doing my YouTube videos, I'll just sell them like as is, like this. Just mark them, post them, sell them. But since I have you guys, I could probably just start giving them to you because I don't need them. Um, the R261, I actually only sold these just to pay for the shipping really because I just wanted them out of the house and I didn't want them to go into landfills, you know. They're good parts in here, you know, good gold, stuff like that, so... Uh, someone has fun with them. Uh, here is a Samsung M300. This one is locked. Um, it was good until I got a hold of it, and then it was locked, and I just said, you know what, forget it. So we just kind of broke it. Um, not really any good parts off of it, but yeah. I think that's all. Oh, we got a couple more down here. There's that. There's the bottom half of that razor. That's all. So we got these three right here left. Here is a Samsung M520. Bad LCD. And now it's completely destroyed because I tried to break it. And these things are pretty strong for a slider phone, you know. I ended up snapping this before I broke the screen off. So that one. Here is a W... 376. I hate these damn phones. I can't remember the name of it. The 376. Um, damaged hinge. It's broken right here. It still worked. Still turned on, but didn't have a SIM card. But all this damage, and it was still a fully functional phone. Even with this, and when you would open it, it would have a really bad problem. Let me just cut the seal. We're just going to do it. We're going to show you what it looks like when you open it. Yeah, I know. I'm not caring about this phone, so there's going to be cut marks on it. You have to kind of like, when you open it, you have to kind of push this back, kind of feed it in there, like that, there we go, as you can tell, but it still worked, I wonder if it still works after sitting, it should, we're about to grab a battery and test it for you guys, this is going to be a really long video, I'm just going to tell you that, so if you don't like long videos, this probably isn't for you, let me see if I can find that, I think the W battery will fit, yeah, I think this one will fit out of it, yeah, maybe, please, yeah, there you go, and it's water damaged, I forgot, even forgot about that part of it, but all this, and it still works, the flex cable is still good, the LCD is still good, still vibrates, but it doesn't have a damn SIM card. So yeah, but yeah, this hinge is, is terrible. But there's that one. And then we also have this um, UT Starcom uh, 7025. It does not work, obviously. I can never get it to work, so finally I just said, forget it. Snapped it, just like that. And then I pushed it back together. And boom, like that. So, there is the other part of my collection of phones that I have never showed you guys. I completely and demolished parts phones. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And, I'm going to get some more videos posted. We still got a couple more drop tests I need to add. So, those should be coming up pretty soon. Um... And then along with this video and the unboxing video I just did not that long ago, that battery looks perfectly fine. It's not even inflated. 
keeping this battery. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And this video, this video is really long, 14 minutes. I guess it's not too long, but 14 minutes is still long enough. So, um, thank you guys for all the subscribers. I noticed we're at 209 now. So, we're getting closer. I want to hopefully have like maybe 300 by December. That's kind of what my goal is. So, I'm going to keep the videos coming out, keep the unboxings coming, and we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay